Hello back again on the Top Recap channel. This time I will tell a movie's entitled Snag. Let's get straight into the storyline. The story begins by showing us a desert in Spain. We are introduced to Victoria, the most influential mafia chief in the region. Then, we see her right-hand man, Pierre, discussing their plan. They will take out a gangster who dares to infiltrate Victoria's territory. Two of the gangsters are killed by Victoria, while the last one fights back swiftly and manages to escape. After a long run, the exhausted gangster decided to stop by a bar. This Australian gangster is known as Snag. Inside the bar, Snag's attention was drawn to a beautiful girl known as Valentina. Thirsty, Snag ordered a beer from the bartender. <coughs> Not long after, the bartender received a call from Victoria. As it turned out, the bartender was Victoria's henchman. Victoria told the bartender that she was hunting a gangster from Australia with white skin, blonde hair, and wearing beach clothes. The bartender informed her that the gangster Victoria was hunting was inside the bar. Knowing this, Victoria assigned the bartender to finish Snag off immediately, and a fight broke out in the bar. In the midst of the increasingly fierce fight, Valentina gave Snag a knife to fight the Mafia members who kept coming. However, being outnumbered, Snag was eventually defeated. After that, the bartender prepared to finish Snag off. However, Valentina blocked it and asked the Mafia members to stop. Unexpectedly, the Mafia members obeyed Valentina's orders because it turned out that Valentina was the daughter of the Mafia chief, Victoria. On the way, Snag asked Valentina why she wanted to help him. Valentina replied that she applauded Snag's courage in not giving up against the Mafia members who ganged up on him. Snag said he also saluted Valentina's courage in stopping the Mafia group. Valentina then said that they did not obey her, they only obeyed Valentina's mother, Victoria. However, it seems that Snag and Valentina have started to fall in love with each other. Snag and Valentina grew closer from that day on, and the two were even officially dating. To prove his sincere love, Snag is even willing to tattoo Valentina's name on his finger, even though he knows she is the daughter of the Mafia chief who holds a grudge against him. One day, Valentina expressed her desire to introduce Snag to her mother, Victoria. Valentina wanted their relationship taken to a more serious level. Hearing that, Snag had no problem meeting Victoria, even though he had been in trouble. Snag is ready to make peace and ask for her blessing to marry her daughter. Long story short, Snag meets with Victoria. He apologized for killing Victoria's right hand a year ago and intended to forget the trouble that had happened between them. Then, Snag asked Victoria for her blessing to propose to her daughter, Valentina, and stated that he sincerely loved Valentina. In response, Victoria said that she never wanted a son-in-law who was a gangster. However, for her daughter's happiness, Victoria was willing to approve her relationship with Snag, but with a note if Snag had to work for her, namely, as a hitman. Hearing these conditions, Snag immediately agreed. The next day, Snag began working for Victoria, robbing the Mafia chief of his money. On this first mission, Snag did not go alone. He was accompanied by his future wife, Valentina, who served as a shuttle driver. On the run, Snag and Valentina seem very happy that the robbery mission went according to plan. This would certainly make Victoria, the future mother-in-law, more able to accept Snag as her future son-in-law. However, unexpectedly, the Mafia group hunted them down, leading to a chase and shootout. Finally, Snag was shot until he was unconscious. Being in a cornered position, Valentina decided to take Snag to hide in the bushes. However, not long after, members of the Mafia group managed to find Valentina and Snag's whereabouts. Valentina then fought back until she finally managed to kill all the Mafia members who were chasing her. Then, they continued their journey home. The scene moved on a few days later, where they were taken to an area to be taught how to torture an enemy. Victoria was seen without hesitation finishing off her enemy even though the enemy begged forgiveness. After being satisfied with her brutal actions, Victoria then left the enemy in a dying state. Please, no, no. It has been over three months since Snag worked for Victoria, robbing the money of a mafia group that was Victoria's business rival. However, to date, there has been no sign that Snag will be married off to Victoria's daughter. Responding to this lightly, Victoria replied that Snag and Valentina's marriage would never happen. Victoria never intended to marry off her only daughter to a poor assassin like Snag. All this time, Victoria had only utilized Snag's skills in robbing mafia groups that were her business rivals. After the mission was completed and Snag was no longer needed, Victoria said she could have finished Snag. However, Victoria is reluctant to do that and is still willing to be kind, letting Snag go as far as possible and never returning. If Snag dares to approach her daughter again, then Victoria will not hesitate to take Snag's life. Hearing this, Snag felt very disappointed because Victoria had broken her promise. 
In fact, so far, Snag has been willing to risk his life to prove that he sincerely loved Valentina. However, Victoria didn't care and gave Snag one day to leave her daughter's life and never return. However, Snag ignored Victoria's serious threats and went to Valentina to tell her everything that had happened. Snag then invites Valentina to run away with him. Valentina, who is very fond of Snag, does not hesitate to accept her lover's invitation, even if it means defying her mother. However, before leaving the city, Valentina hopes that Snag will marry her first, because Valentina has always dreamed of getting married in her hometown. The next day, Snag and a priest were seen waiting for Valentina's arrival for their wedding, while Valentina herself was getting ready to leave. Unexpectedly, Victoria came and tried to protect her daughter, but Valentina did not care and hurried to leave the house. Before that, Victoria had assigned her men to find Snag and finish him off. Long story short, Victoria's men had arrived in the middle of the desert. They immediately opened fire in bursts, causing the priest to die. Luckily, Snag still survived, and Valentina approached Snag. However, due to the successive shots fired by Victoria's men, Valentina had to be shot. Valentina was shot dead by Vicky's men, which left Snag devastated and angry. Before escaping, Snag promised in front of Valentina's body that he would avenge and kill Victoria and her group one by one. Four years have passed, but Snag still can't forget Valentina. To this day, Snag still hasn't managed to avenge his girlfriend's death because Victoria and her group are still alive. Snag often visits a bar owned by his friends Javi and Jackie to escape his loneliness. The next day, while Snag was sleeping, he was suddenly attacked by a man known as Marco. But Snag was able to defeat him. As it turns out, Marco is Snag's old friend, a hitman. After that, Marco explained the purpose of his arrival, which was to inform him that Valentina was still alive, and Victoria hid her in a headquarters that was heavily guarded by hundreds of armed mafia members. Knowing this certainly made Snag very surprised. He did not expect that Valentina was still alive. Marco also offered to help because the headquarters was guarded by hundreds of people with complete weaponry. With their friendship, Marco is ready to help Snag get Valentina back. Snag then contacted Javi and Jackie, asking the two siblings to come to his house right now. Snag intends to recruit Javi and Jackie to rescue Valentina, who is locked up in Victoria's headquarters. Knowing this, Javi and Jackie are willing to help their friend, Snag. Yeah, boy, I'm going, going. Long story short, Javi and Jackie arrive at Snag's house, and without wasting any more time, the four of them immediately go into action to save Valentina. Marco led this mission directly because only Marco knew where Victoria's headquarters was located. Before leaving for headquarters, Snag had to meet his old friend to get the weapons he had once entrusted. Upon arrival at the friend's house, Snag immediately asked for the guns he had once entrusted. The friend said Snag should be wary, especially of Marco, a hitman. The friend suspected that Marco might be one of the hitmen assigned by Victoria to finish off Snag. Hearing this, Snag said Marco was his best friend and could not betray him. After that, the friend took Snag to his secret weapon storage. Your hands up. We have you surrounded. When heading out, Snag found that his friends were being held hostage by the hitman. The hitman asked Snag to hand over his weapons, but Snag refused, and a shootout broke out between them. Amid the fierce firefight, the friend asked Snag and his friend to escape while the friend faced the hitman alone. Shortly after Snag and his friend managed to escape, the Victoria hitman was taken down by Snag's friend. However, a minute later, the hitman was up again, as he was wearing a bulletproof vest. The hitman was reluctant to engage Snag's friend because the main target he had to eliminate was Snag. Then, the hitman continued his pursuit of Snag and his friend, who were heading toward Victoria's headquarters. Because it was getting dark, Javi invited Snag to spend the night at his grandfather's house. Javi asked Snag not to worry because his grandfather's residence was in a remote area, so it was certain that Victoria's hitmen could not possibly find their whereabouts. Snag agreed to spend the night at Javi's grandfather's residence. What is this? Where are we? Why have we situation? Meanwhile, Jackie and Marco tried to switch on the electricity generator in the next warehouse. At the same time, Javi and Snag rested in the main room. However, Marco and Jackie failed to switch on the generator engine, which had not been used for a long time. Jackie, curious, asked Marco why Snag would risk his life for a girl. Marco replies that Valentina is not an ordinary girl, but a special girl who often saves Snag's life. Besides, Snag and Valentina were a good match, both brave and brutal. Amid their conversation, Marco noticed the arrival of the hitman and his group. Snag was also aware of their arrival, but was astonished. Hobby!
On one occasion, Marco dueled with the hitman and defeated him. But as Marco prepared to finish the hitman, an unexpected event suddenly occurred. As it turned out, Jackie was Victoria's minion who leaked the address of this location to the hitman. Shortly after that, Snag finished the hitman, even though he was severely injured. Unfortunately, Javi and Marco also had to become victims in this shootout. Later, Jackie arrived with a landline phone connected directly to Victoria. Victoria told Snag that Valentina already had a daughter who was Snag's descendant. However, Victoria will ensure that Snag will never be able to meet his child because Victoria has assigned Jackie to finish off Snag, who is in a state of injury. Knowing this, Snag can only cry because he failed to save Valentina and his only daughter. While crying, Jackie also apologized for being forced to do this for the money from Victoria to pay Jackie's huge debt. After that, Jackie immediately finished off Snag. And the movie is over. Don't forget to click subscribe, like, and comment.